Hello, my name is E Dogs, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, sit the spell. You might like the video, you might even give it a like, you might even subscribe. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation Skullgren, which came out in between somewhere between 2010 and 2011. We're going to start it in the vehicle mode, and we're going to end off in the robot mode. We're going to talk about what a pretender is. But first, vehicle mode, this is a G6 howitzer. The G6 is sometimes denoted as the G6 Rhino, which is a South African mine-protected, self-propelled howitzer or artillery vehicle. It was produced between 1988 through 1999. They built 154 units. It weighs about 46 tons. The main armament is this 155 millimeter gun. Second one is this 12.7 M2 Browning machine gun that has a capacity of 900 rounds. We on this side, we have this rocket launcher, which is not supposed to be on here, uh, on this side. And the only thing that separates this from the real thing is this is a half track, which is half truck, half tank, where the real one had two giant tires like a bulldozer would normally have on either side it also has this silver piece in front which acts like uh as a shovel if you will and it pushes the earth or the mud or water and it removes the mines that are on the ground uh when it's deployed and when it's not being used they retract it back into the vehicle and that is what it looks like top speed is 55 miles an hour it is currently being operated in three places, South Africa, United Arab Emirates, and Amin. We're going to get into some comparisons. Uh, first, we have Titans Return Hardhead, which is a little lower profile than this, but it's fine. That's what it looks like from the front. That's what it looks like it's from the side. Now we're getting a new repaint kind of deal in the, in the next couple of months, I believe. Here it is from the back. Another one. We have Voyager Class Megatron from Siege. The only difference between these two guys is that there's no elevation in the main gun. But they do both have the 360 degrees in the turret. We'll fix this later. They both have visible head syndrome on the bottom. And there it is from this side. So now we are going to go into the robot mode. And what you do is you remove these weapons. They're on C-clips. Remember C-clips? You can just remove stuff and just add whatever you want. Onto different figures. Now, when this came out, I would think it was the later half of 2011, and that is when Transformers Prime First Edition started to come in. So they were on the top shelf, and these were guys on the bottom shelf. So we're going to go into transformation first. We're going to separate the turret from the track. So what we have to do is just Turn it a little bit, give it a wiggle, and it should pop up. Move the main gun a little bit out of the way. We're going to go back here. We're going to separate the sides like so, and it's going to fall through. Next, we're going to bring this down. Bring this out like that. Bring this out like that. Next, we have to maneuver the main gun out of the way. So we continue. We'll come back to that. While we're here, 
we can take these burgundy things on the heel on the knees bring them out like so and what we want to do next is bring the leg down like so like that bring this piece up on the thigh concentrate on this little square thing here push in brings out the heel spur sometimes they'll bring out the foot as well that's fine it's Take this door, close it. You have a leg all done. Same thing on the other side. If it's not tabbed in, just untab it from this black piece. And you simply just bring it down. Push this burgundy thing against here. You wanna focus on this square back here. Brings out the heel spur. If you keep moving, it should bring out the foot. Then you take this door and you close it. Like so. Move this up. Close this up. Next, we want to separate the arms from the outer uh, half track, which I forgot to mention. But we have these four wheels and we have the three wheels on behind it. And the three wheels are connected to the outer sleeve of the forearm. So all we have to do is go behind here and you just separate it like so. You can focus on these wheels. You separate it. Next, you want to unplug it from this piece right here. And you want to simply rotate it like so. Bring it in. Like that. Like so. You leave it at that for, for now. Same thing on the other side. Just unpack it from the side, rotate it up. And this is the best way to do it so that these pieces won't pop off. So just, just slide this past. It'll be alright. Now, what you can do here is you can just simply rotate this back now before you do that let's back up real quick you have to move this wheel inside underneath the uh, underneath the uh, driver's seat or the driver's cab bring those down same thing on the other side make sure that's in you rotate rotate that around bring that around Then you just have to bring them inwards because there's two of these. There's two here. There's one one panel here and there's one panel there. They're on opposite sides. So you just bring them inwards. And you want to pack them together. Like so. Take this piece. Bring it down. Take this piece, bring it down. You want to manage the arms so that they're facing you. Same thing on the other side, just manage them so they're facing you. And we're going to go underneath here. We're going to lift up this black panel right here. And you want to push up the head, it's going to come up from the top. You want to move the Decepticon shield door, which is painted in bronze, black and bronze. Just push that down, and there you go. Next, we have to plug this piece into that piece. like that and there you have your Skogren in robot mode we're going to add all his accessories last because of the board joints they're not sized properly you may need to use um, nail hardener nail polish hardener or floor wax for the ankles and the waist Right. 
There you go. Let's get in some comparisons. We have Bumblebee. We have our special guest, Chrome Dome. And we have Will Jack, Masterpiece Will Jack. So we have that kind of lineup. Now, to explain the pretenders, the story of Master Force was that the Transformers had been fighting for a very long time. It was a standalone story, and that the Decepticons had taken the shape of creatures to scare. And to wreak havoc on their homes and stuff like that. Where the Autobots took the forms of humans and they became like guardians, if you will. So what would, what would normally happen is this will be underneath, this, the creature form will be over this. And then they would shed that form. This would be the robot mode. And they would transform into a tank mode, which is normally a hover tank. In the show, and the funny thing about the hover tank is that it had the ability to burrow into the earth, uh, which is kind of really silly now that you think about it. But um, to correct the problem, they introduced Chrome Dome, which is a part of the Headmaster series, and his objective was to connect it to the Headmaster series. Headmaster series connected it. To the movie, etc., 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 and um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So we're gonna go into articulation. The head, I'm not exactly sure if it's on a ball joint or if it's connected to the screw that allows it to spin. But you can get 380 degrees of an air. This panel, shoulder panel, can go up. That's about as much as you get on the arm. We have butterfly movement at the shoulder. Less than 90 on the elbow. 360 degree swivel on the hands. 360 degrees at the waist. And then we have a rotation at the thigh or I should say a lower thigh. Uh, to get the leg up, you have to move this piece up. You get about that far. You can bring it down at the knee, also less than 90. But if you want to go backwards, you can get it all the way up to the backpack. And then a little bit of wiggle room on the feet. Now we're going to add some accessories. Now you can put the accessories any way you want. Pretty much. So we're going to get our machine gun. And we're going to clip it up here. Like so. We'll fix that. Stick it. Oops. Now I'm not sure why they didn't use ratchets for the elbows. I mean the ankles and the waist. We just have to. Got to plug this back together. Right, so.
And we just have to fix it up a little bit more. Manage this a little bit. Now his axe, or his pickaxe, I should say. There is a groove on this side, right here. And they simply, his hands have these little protrusions in it, so it grips it better. So I like to put them in both his hands. this put this on the other side like so And this is normally how I have them posed. Have them looking over to the left. Okay, now he's gonna stand. And that is due to the loose ball joints. It's crazy. Okay. There we go. That's, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Uh, all right. So, if you liked this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, put them in the comment box, suggestions in the comment box. Next up, we're going to be focusing on Masterpiece Ratchet in an upcoming video. So please stay tuned for that. Until next time, and try to enjoy your day. See you in the next video.